Urinary bladder is hollow muscular organ. It is temporary reservoir of the urine. It has two parts. Body that is the major part of the bladder in which urine collects and neck which is funnel shaped extension of the body. It has superior surface and infralateral surfaces. Smooth muscles of the bladder is known as detrusor muscles. Contraction of detrusor muscle it is a major step in the emptying of bladder. The smooth muscle cells of detrusor muscle they fuse with one another and therefore there is low resistance electrical pathways they exist from one muscle cell to the another and therefore action potential spreads from one cell to the next one. Mucous membrane of the bladder that is made up of transitional epithelium which is known as urothelium. The mucous membrane has three important characteristic features. One that it can be easily stretched so with increase in the volume bladder mucosa can be stretched. Also it is a barrier for the passage of the fluid and the electrolytes and it secretes glycosaminoglycan which prevents adhesion of the bacteria. Trigon on the posterior wall of the bladder lying immediately above the bladder neck there is a small triangular area which is known as trigon. At the lowermost part of the trigon you can see here there is opening of the bladder neck into the posterior urethra and at the uppermost angles of the trigon two ureters enter the bladder. The mucosa of trigon is smooth which is in contrast to the remaining bladder mucosa which has folding. Renal urethral sphincter which is made up of circular smooth muscle and it is involuntary. External urethral sphincter made up of skeletal muscle and it is voluntary. Now now supply to the urinary bladder and sphincter. Internal urethral sphincter and detrusor muscles they are supplied by autonomic nerves, sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve whereas external urethral sphincter is supplied by the pudendal nerve which is somatic. Now sympathetic nerve supply to the bladder. Preganglionic fibers for the sympathetic nerve supply they arise from T11 to L2 segments. And after leaving the spinal cord, these fibers they pass through lateral sympathetic chain and they terminate into the hypogastric ganglion from which post ganglionic fibers they arise and they supply detrusor muscles and internal sphincter. Sympathetic nerves they cause relaxation of detrusor muscles and constriction of internal urethral sphincter and therefore they are known as nerve of feeling. Now, parasympathetic nerve supply. Parasympathetic they are also known as pelvic nerves or nervi arrogans and their function is they are known as nerve of empty. Parasympathetic nerves they arise from S2, S3 and S4 and they terminate in the hypogastric ganglion from which post ganglionic fibers they arise and they also supply detrusor muscles and internal sphincter. Stimulation of parasympathetic nerves the effects are opposite to the sympathetic stimulation. Here it causes contraction of detrusor muscles and relaxation of internal urethral sphincter and that results in emptying of the bladder. Now sensory nerve supply. External urethral sphincter is supplied by the sensory nerve that is pudendal nerve. Pudendal nerve also arises from the segments S2, S3 and S4 and its function is to maintain tonic contraction of the external urethral sphincter. And therefore during micturition pudendal nerve is inhibited and that results in voiding of urine. Sensation of bladder distension. Afron fibers from the pelvic splanchnic nerve they pass via hypogastric plexus to the spinal cord segments T11 to L2 and in the spinal cord this sensation of bladder distension they pass through fasciculus gracilis. Another sensory innervation that is sensation of bladder pain. Bladder pain appears when there is spasm of the bladder wall or if there is presence of stone or inflammation. And afferent fibers they pass via hypogastric plexus and they pass through lateral spinal thalamic tract. Now summary of the nerve supply to the bladder. As we have discussed sympathetic, parasympathetic and somatic nerves they supply detrusor muscle and the sphincters. Sympathetic nerves they are known as nerve of feeling and they cause relaxation of detrusor muscle and constriction of internal sphincter. 
External sphincter is not supplied by the sympathetic nerve. Parasympathetic nerves, they are known as nerve of MT. Detrusor muscles are contracted because of parasympathetic stimulation and internal sphincter is relaxed. Whereas external sphincter has no parasympathetic supply. Somatic nerve, it supplies only external sphincter that is pudendal nerve and it is responsible for voluntary control of maturation. So this is all about nerve supply to the urinary bladder.